Hey everybody. I'm gonna do a little skincare tonight and chat with you guys about something that I don't normally talk about. When you hop on, say hello. Facebook is building my audience. Hello, when you get here, when you're here, say hi. Hi, Jessica. Hey, Victoria. All right, so a little disclaimer, you guys. I am no esthetician, but I've done some research, and honestly, I had no idea what dimethicone even was until um, a friend messaged me about it. And so if you are also curious about dimethicone, just hang in there with me and we will get to that in just a few minutes. But I can promise you it's not something that you want on your face. Or at least I don't want it on my face anymore. You may want it on your face. All right, so I'm gonna wash my face here with our um, quench cleanser. Then I'm gonna do some skin polish and then we're gonna get into the nitty gritty about dimethicone. Hey Candace, hey Nancy. Wetting it with some warm water. How's everyone's Monday doing? This is a little, um, hey Brittany. A little out of character for me. I'm no scientist, but when you research something, then kind of makes you a little bit of an expert on it, right? I've been nonstop, I feel like, researching this for the last couple days, and I think it's so interesting. Who's here? Hey Savannah, hi Olivia, Tracy, and Brittany. All right, so I am going to use our skin polish. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is wonderful. It is absolutely wonderful. It's an all natural like face mask and it's made with lemon and jojoba beads, olive oil, just all natural ingredients. All of our skincare is all natural. And the jojoba beads are actually a moisturizer as well but they um, are used in this instance as an all natural exfoliator, but it's really mild. So what you do is just put this on your entire face and you can leave it on for 10, 15 minutes. It smells like, um, like a lemon meringue pie. Oh, it smells so good. And it helps roll away all those dead skin cells and impurities. Hey Megan. Okay, so now that we have that on there, let's get into what we were going to talk about. So, dimethicone is a silicone-based polymer. And what that means is that it's essentially a large molecule that is made up of several small molecules that are kind of bonded together. So, I had no idea what that meant, so I had to do some more research, clearly. <laughs> And it is a silicone oil that's man-made in a lab, and it's often put in shampoo, conditioner, lotion, foundation, makeup, and makeup primer. It is FDA, FDA approved, um, but studies have proved that it can actually make your skin worse over time. And so, instead of using all natural ingredients like what I'm using now, I um, have used in the past, some unnatural ingredients that contained dimethicone. And I didn't even realize what I was doing to my skin until now that I've started researching it. Um, and I, you know, I was started using these products and I was like, gosh, why is my skin looking so much better so fast? I'm not really getting hormonal breakouts like I was. Um, my like brown spots and things like that are starting to really fade. Um, it, I mean, it's only, it's been like less than two months and I can tell a dramatic difference in my skin 
but I really believe that not using dimethicone is a predominant reason why that's the case. Now, some people that have um, rosacea and things like that, they have uh, really, really bad allergies to dimethicone, but other people have it prescribed. I guess it just depends on your skin condition. But overall, instead of nourishing your skin from the outside in, dimethicone is going to form like a plastic barrier on your skin. So, I mean, if you think about dipping your face into kind of a plastic barrier, um, it's going to give it an artificial coating. It's going to trap everything in. So it's trapping in your bacteria. It's trapping in impurities. Um, trapping in all the junk that you didn't get washed off and of course that's going to increase your breakouts and blackheads and things like that and then because it's kind of like a plastic coating on your skin it's going to prevent your skin from sweating it's going to prevent you from having temperature regulation um, it's going to prevent you from your natural ability to kind of rid dead skin cells it's non uh, non biodegradable so i mean if you think about that Thank you, Michelle. And I had no idea what dimethicone was until actually Michelle mentioned it to me. And then I was like, what in the world is this stuff? How is it even able to be put into cosmetics? So, of course, if you have dirty skin and you're trapping that in with a plastic-like coating, it's going to increase aging, right? I mean, you've got dirt trap in your face. You're increasing breakouts and things like that. And that's going to prevent your skin from ridding itself of toxins, thus it's going to cause you to age. So it's just inhibiting your skin's natural process by a false ingredient. And I don't know about you guys, but I try really hard to, you know, eat healthy and work out and things like that. And then I'm not taking care of the biggest organ, if you will, on, on my body, my skin, that absorbs chemicals in less than 15 seconds. Well, that's all changed. So... Um, dimethicone creates a dependency on an unnatural coating product and it disrupts your skin's ability to hydrate itself. So, I mean, there's just tons of different um, reasons why dimethicone is not a good ingredient, if you will, in your skincare or your lotion or your shampoo. And I was reading some just, um, I guess, bloggers or commenters or what have you, and they were all talking about how um, they would have kind of itchy places in their scalp from their shampoo having having that in it. Um, a lot of people said that it was a gradual increase that they noticed. At first, their skin, you know, had no uh, response to it, if you will. But then the more they used it over time, the worse their skin became. So I don't know about you guys, but for me, I've used products before. And at first, I was like, yes, this is amazing. And then after a while, my skin started responding negatively to it. I don't know if any of you guys have experienced that, but I have. Um, so I couldn't not share it with you, but I am pleased to announce that these products are all natural <laughs> and they are really, really doing something special for my skin. I mean, you guys look, I will post a picture when we're done of my forehead just two months ago and it did not look like this. This is insanity. Hey, Char. I, I mean, it's almost like I don't recognize myself, and I'm not sure um, if, I don't, I don't even think I know how to pronounce it, but malaise, malaise, malaisma, Malaysia, um, I got that really, really bad with my last child, and it was like, oh, it was terrible. My skin was just always, I always had brown splotches all over my entire forehead. It was just really, really bad, but honestly, like only two months and like all of my little acne scars and things like that from before are starting to go away. It just, fe my skin just feels better. <laughs> it just feels great. Um, so I'm just really, really pleased, really pleased. So a little bit of my regimen, and I don't know, I've done a video on my skincare line before, um, but in case you guys are wondering, um, you can kind of mix and match the products if it's something that you're interested in um, for oily skin or dry skin or combo skin or what have you. Um, but I use our quench cleanser morning and night. And then I use our skin therapist and our must do, which is a face oil. And I'll do some, I'll do a video later about the benefits of face oil. Before I was like, no way, I'm not putting oil on my face. But I was under the impression that it was like, Crisco or something. <laughs> I don't know what I thought I was putting on my face, but it is not that. It's amazing and it smells incredible. 
Um, and then I use Sotox, which I don't have in here, and of course One Drop Wonder. Um, and then I use the skin polish, which I have on now, two or three times a week. And I know that may seem like a lot, but you guys, as much as I love putting on makeup, I love taking it off even more, especially since I'm getting such good results. Yes, Jessica, I was using some pharma, um, some prescription stuff too. I don't know where it is. It's in one of these drawers in here. Um, but it made my face burn so bad, so I use it very sparingly. But I can't wait to see how it goes with Limelight as well. I think that you're going to get really positive results from it. So what else is going on in the Monday night? Hey, Jamie James. You guys, shout out to Jamie. No snacking today, and she worked out twice. <laughs> Love putting it on, but taking it off is amazing. It really, really is. Sorry, Jamie, don't be embarrassed, but I am super proud of you. Hey, Paige. I am right there with you, Laura. There's just something about like coming home, even though I work from home, but there's just something about like coming home or like being done for the day and taking your makeup off and like unstrapping your bra and slinging it across the room. It's like the best feeling in this entire world and putting on leggings. Yeah, that's, that's just a night made. When did we become these people? <laughs> when did we do, when did, when did this happen? So I think it's starting to get like a little stiff. Yes, Laura, great minds. We're on the same wavelength. So I'm gonna rinse this off and then I'm gonna put on the Skin Therapist and the Must Do and talk to you guys a little bit about that. What you're going to do is just um, just kind of rinse that off with some warm water and then your final rinse is going to be a slosh of cold water and that's going to help um, just close up your pores again. But I mean seriously you guys look at my forehead. It is crazy. You can tell so many of these brown spots are just starting to go away. It's amazing. I'm so tickled. <clears throat> I can't imagine how much better it's gonna be the longer I go. So then I use our Skin Therapist just a tiny little bit. And this is awesome because it's made with pomegranate and oats. And I think I've said it before, but doesn't that just sound good? It just sounds like it is perfect. Um, it kind of reminds me of when, I guess kids don't get that anymore, but I was in kindergarten when I got chicken pox and my mom made me take an oatmeal bath. It was a really sad time. I missed my first kindergarten field trip. I promised her I wouldn't touch anyone, but she still wouldn't let me go. <laughs> and then Must Do is made with Pomerose oil and sunflower oil. Oh, it smells amazing, you guys. And it says that you should just, it says, massage into clean skin and circular upward strokes, paying attention to your jaw, cheekbones, temple, and brow line. Buddy, I slap this stuff on everywhere. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. It smells so good. All right, and there you have it. I put on some shea butter chapstick and I'm ready for bed. But thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. If you guys are interested in shea butter chapstick, Chapstick also has some sort of ingredient in it that prevents your um, lips from creating moisture. And I know a girl that makes this herself, and I think she's selling them for $3 a pop, which is crazy. And it smells like peppermints. And it's also made with essential oils and all natural shea butter and coconut oil. And I'm not even really that crunchy. I'm kind of crunchy. But, um, dude, I'm on the crunchy bandwagon now. My, especially since my skin feels so much better. You make some like that too, Crystal? 
I didn't know. I'm all about supporting other peeps. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off and go spend some time with the hubs with my clean face. If you guys have caught any of uh, my previous lives, you know that he loves the smell of this must-do. So, <laughs> um, go spend some time with him and... I might be back tomorrow. Who knows? I'm learning all kinds of things, so i got to share that with my favorite people. All right, you guys, have a good night.